Well, for his part, President Biden got right to work hours after taking the oath of office. He signed 17 executive orders ranging from mask mandates to actions on global warming. Our Hope Ford breaks it all down, all 17 of them for you, in just 17 and 77 seconds. There's a lot to unpack, so we're going to go quick. Mask required on federal property. The World Health Organization, the U.S. rejoins, and Dr. Anthony Fauci will head up the delegation to WHO. A new COVID-19 response coordinator position is created. A nationwide moratorium on evictions and foreclosures extended until March 31st. The pause on federal student loan interest and payments extended till September 30th. A majority of Biden's executive orders revolve around immigration. DACA protections reinstated. Travel ban to seven Muslim-majority countries lifted. Expansion of immigration enforcement stopped. Construction of the border wall halted. Deferrals of deportations for Liberians extended. An order excluding undocumented immigrants from the census rescinded. The restriction on diversity and inclusion training within federal agencies is lifted. And workplace discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity is prohibited. The Paris Climate Accord rejoined. And the Keystone XL pipeline canceled. The Office of Management and Budget, the office that prepares the president's budget proposal, has to update their review process. And finally, anyone appointed to the executive branch has to sign an ethics pledge to ensure they act in the interest of the American people and not for personal gain. As we mentioned, a lot of information there, so we have posted more details for you and a story on 11alive.com.